It's the Ibanez GRG 121 SP. It's more than one color. Can you see it? We're going to be giving it a going over today, right here on Geargasms. Hi everybody, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes, today. Yeah, 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 we got this two-colored Ibanez, the GRG 121 SP, courtesy of my friends and our friends up at Earl Teat Music in Del Mar, Delaware. Chris, Dean, all the staff there, just wonderful to this channel. We thank you very, very much for letting us take this thing home. And I'm gonna tell you how and why I came across this thing to take it home in just a second. But first, if you're new to the channel, I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe. This channel is kind of like an off-Broadway play. Like way off-Broadway. Like in New Jersey. Celebrate mediocrity. Let's go over all the specs while we ooh and ah over some glorious B-roll of this thing. First of all, this finish. They're calling it Blue Metal Chameleon. And most of the time, like straight on, it looks blue. But me looking down on top of it, it looks purple, depending on how it catches the light. I think that's a fairly expensive finish to do. So I'm not really sure how they got that done on the $299 price point. That's what this guitar is. The body is poplar. The neck is roasted maple, and it feels good. The fingerboard is Jatoba, rounded really, really well. Great fret work, medium frets, 24 of those bad boys. Going up to the nut, it looks like graphite, but it's ABS plastic. More important than what it's made of is, is it cut correctly? We will find out later. Just a beautiful roasted maple neck. I love the sculpted heel. Goto style tuners, they keep it, keep it in tune really, really well. Looking down the back, we've seen this before on fixed bridge of guitars coming from Ibanez. They drop the low E string just a little further back and it gives you a little bit more play for intonation. It gives you a little more string length. The belly cut at the top of the back. And of course, nice arm bevel across the front. Just a regular Godo style, Strat style, fixed bridge, string through body, of course. Ibanez Classic Elite Humbuckers. These have ceramic magnets. They're pretty hot. One volume, one tone, five-way switch. The output jack is pretty unique. It's all one piece, molded plastic. So enough of me talking, let's plug this thing in and hear how it sounds. Now I'm fucking done. Alrighty, I got a two camera setup. I got camera one, camera two. Look, camera one, it kind of looks blue. Camera two, it kind of looks purple. And that's exactly where I want to be, where I want to try and keep it. We're going to be going through the Spark today. And full disclosure, the reason why is I was getting a lot of feedback at, at fairly mid volume with some of my bigger boy amps. So going through the spark allows me to get the speakers away from this a little bit. Let's let's do the tone and get that out of the way. Let's do a G chord. Halfway. All the way. <laughs> now these are ceramic pickups. They do have a lot of bite. Let's do the nut test. F. F minor. Oh, it's so nice. It's not terribly ice picky. You can like do clean rhythms. Position two. Now, these things split kind of weird. Position one is the bridge. 
Position three is both of them together in series. Position one is the full neck humbucker. Position two, which is pretty normal, split coils. They're splitting the inside coils, kind of that strat quack sound. But position four, single coil neck. Not the one close to the finger bird, the second coil. So you can get that. So then when you go to the, the humbucking, it's feel a lot of the wolf come in, which is a problem with, with neck pickups, but yeah, giving you that strat option so you can get that beautiful. We forgot to give it the Skinner test. One thing with these two things in series, these two pickups, the volume jump is enormous from position four to position three. So if you're like getting your groove on with a little bit of And then you go to the middle one. That could be useful if you want to jump out for a solo, but ain't nobody solos on the middle bro. Maybe they should. Pick a little softer. Let's throw on a little bit of chorus. Position two. come up for position three. Position four, just that neck. I could tell I like it already. Oh, it makes me smile. It made me smile so much that I screwed it up. Let me try it again. Neck full. Just one thing curveball at the end. Yeah, a little lumpy. Mr. Blue Sky, thank you, Marty Music, for teaching me that. I'll, I'll do some just some chords or something. Clean is so boring. God, it's boring. I'm boring enough. Then when clean happens on top of me. <laughs> That's what she said. Now for this segment, I figured y'all gonna ask me, Alan. <laughs> like you ask me anything. Alan, how's can you like slather half a bottle of sweet baby rays on this thing and try and get some kind of rootsy kind of I don't know what you call Americana Texas stank blues kind of borderline Edge of breakup. Hope I didn't spoil that. That was the second position, but yeah, we are on the spark still. No. Blues Junior Geargasms. That's the name of the tone. It's on the spark cloud. I don't make money from it. We'll start off on the bridge pickup. No particular magic, just a little bit of Blues Junior. <laughs> Get just a little bit of hair on it. Peach fuzz. Next, position two. Position four. That was three, by the way. That was Jan Brady. I thought it would. Single coil neck. I think I like that probably.
that was such an ugly sequence of notes. <laughs> Position two, what, what were we even playing? <laughs> That's Jam Brady. Jam Brady don't sound bad now. Come on, boys. Oh, we didn't get rid of that. Let's do this for Jan. Jan loves this. Come on! Jan loves when you play it right. And we are now at that single coil neck. Then hear the difference between that full one. See, I don't like that at all, but I like this. So yeah, it'll, it'll bark too. I wanted to bend that a little bit just to impress you. <laughs> One last time. All right, that was boring, we know. You're probably not going to play Texas barbecue sauce blues on this thing. We know what you want. It's purple. Mm. It's chug time. <laughs> Same by chug on position two. No, they don't. Jam Brady, can you chug? I think we'd have to ask Peter. Notice how I put her with the correct age stepbrother. I didn't like try to foist her on Greg or cousin Oliver. Four, this is single coil neck, does it? Ch -ch Chug. It don't. We know it's gonna happen here. Are you ready? Squeeze your butt cheeks together, cause here comes flatulence. Besides me missing a note. That really wasn't as flubby as I thought it would be. I'm sure by now you've had all of my chugging you could stand. <laughs> So we're going to go to our old friend, Millennial Lead. Millennial Lead. Let's see how this sounds. Does not sound anything like that. We'll start at the neck. I'll show you some single notes. Just one. Do you like that? Single coil. Middle position. Position two. <laughs> Have you counted up the number of wrong microtones I've, I've put into all of those bends? Position one. Uh, we haven't gone up to, the tw we got 24 frets, why not use them? Let's, use, let's try tapping it. That was the bridge position, position two.
middle. <laughs> Single coil neck. Now let's hear the full thing. Yeah, see, I like it there. just to give you the high gain. Middle position. When you forgot the song that you made up, tone. Let's get that Petrucci thing out. Since it's kind of purple. I like it. Position three, let's see what Jan, can Jan sing? <laughs> Sam the Butcher said she sung for me. Six and three. Oh my gosh, what was that? That was the middle position, that sounded good. what I was looking for. I wanted to dive it. Oh, but you don't really need to dive it. This guitar will get you there. Well, what did we learn today? We learned that on clean tones, ceramic pickups, they still hate me. We also learned that in this particular model, Ibanez did something really interesting with the switching and on position four, it gave us the single coil for the neck. Thank you so much. And finally, what we didn't learn is just how glorious and amazing this guitar could sound if only in the hands of someone talented. Once again, thanking Earl Teat Music up in Del Mar, Delaware. They also have a location in Dover as well. Tax free, baby. Go see Chris or Dean or go see Dale at the Dover store. Whatever you do, make sure you shop local. And if you're local to here, shop Earl T. As always, I thank you for the time that you spend with the channel. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. You got some embarrassing friends, the kind of friends that you don't want to invite around decent people. Those are exactly the people we're looking for here on Geargasms. Make sure you send them our way. This is the point where I go blah, 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 Teespring, blah, blah, blah. You can buy this and that. I know you're not going to. On to the next segment. Loser. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell Nikki Six about it. He's trying to get Vince Neil to eat McMars so the lawsuit will go away. Aww.
but play more guitar. Watch less of this, but keep coming back here week after week for more Geargasm.